Hey, Brandy. Um, thought I would run this, uh, show you how to do the payables. I think you have access to this. Um, not positive, but I believe you should. So in, so you can't do this in the affordable role. You do have to do this in the resident or residential manager role. Um, I'm not sure what you have. Either one should work. Um, it is analytics, then it's operational, operations, and then aged payable. This is a report that show up aging, property, SG. We pick an age as, as of, age as of date, and the period is our current period. We leave the rest blank so it includes everything. Um, we can hit Excel right away. You can display it and look it on your screen first if you want. But let's pull up the Excel version of the aging report. Pull up from the other screen here. Open this up. This is what the report looks like. Um, now when Yardy um, exports report, you probably know this, but these totals aren't set up as totals they're just you know this isn't a total it's just the number so what i always do is uh delete these and then set these up as auto sum we just want to get those numbers copy that over to the next several lines okay so uh, Dan wants to see our accounts payable he wants doesn't really want to see the crossline property management so we can go to crossline property management and we can just chase this to zero 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 um, the other one that doesn't is immaterial is NEF that is the investor in this property there's a fee for them that was earned but has never been due. It's not due yet, but it has to be carried on the books. So for this, we can zero this out. This is the actual accounts payable as of today for the property. Um, so, you know, quick look through, you can see 25,000 almost in um, our electric bills. And then we had a big um, job with Sherwin Williams. I'm assuming that's carpenter flooring or something. So between those, that's 41,000. That gives us our total here. Um, and that would be the report that Dan wants to see. So um, hope you have this access. If so, you can run this uh, quickly and easily. Otherwise, I can always run it for you um, as well. And that's it.